One of the great and most terrible sins of humankind that Jesus has in the Our Father is forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. As a priest for almost 62 years now, what I have noticed in the brokenness of families, in the brokenness of almost every society, is unforgiveness. When a person, we become so easily offended and not forgiving. If someone offends us and we don't forgive, why is forgiveness so important? Because forgiveness is that which Jesus said, unless you forgive from your heart, you shall not be forgiven. It's in the 18th chapter of Matthew's Gospel of the unforgiving servant. Because Peter asked him, how many times must my brother offend me that I will forgive him? Seven? Now, Peter thought, I think, he was... He, he must have met a, a very liberal rabbi before he met Jesus. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then return the punch. No, Peter, no, that's not my law. Not seven times, 77 times seven. However you put it, uh, if it's 490 times, however that works out, or 77 times, what Jesus was saying to Peter is you must always forgive. How often will my brother offend me that I forgive him? You must always forgive. Forgiveness is of the very nature of being my follower. When I was crucified on the cross, what did I say to those who killed me? Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Because of Jesus, there is no sin in the world that cannot be forgiven. There is no offense that cannot be forgiven. He, because in the, in the analogy that he gave, the greater the one offended is the, is the amount that, that has to be uh, forgiven. When we sin, we offend God. God forgives us. In the example that he gave, the master was offended by the servant, and the master forgave the servant. The example that he used was 10,000 talents, which means millions of dollars. The huge amount. When I offend God, God forgives me. Now, if I forgive you, and he went out and offended another person, that other person is only offending you. You are not God. And if you don't forgive, and what was the amount that was used? A hundred dollars, a very small amount. For you to forgive the neighbor is insignificant almost in comparison to God forgiving you. And that's why Jesus says, unless you forgive your neighbor from your heart, my Father will not forgive you. I am God, and I forgive you your sins. Therefore, you must. It's of the very nature of being Christian that you forgive those who have offended you. You cannot pray the Our Father and be a Christian. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. I am expecting God for you to forgive me. There's a little boy that I knew here in Scranton, and his name was Walsh. Beautiful old boy, Jimmy Walsh. No, Eddie Walsh. His father's name was Jim. He was a fireman. And he uh, the, the, and his two boys uh, that went to, because they were, they were great lovers of country music, they went to Nashville. And while at Nashville, Jim was shot by three men, uh, black men who uh, were going to rob him. And uh, in, the, in the meantime, while they were robbing him, they actually robbed him, and he was shot. And he wasn't able to, to recognize those who shot him. And it did come to trial. And the, the three denied that they were the ones. But the, Eddie was eight years old, 
and he was put on the witness stand and he actually recognized they had all kinds of people. He picked out the ones because they had denied he, this one, this one, and this one. And they were the ones who robbed his father and they went to prison. Because of the stress of the trial, he got cancer. He really became very sick. And when I used to go around with him, he, had a, he was always a beautiful player. Uh, he had a guitar and he always had a Bible. He was always quoting the Bible to other kids. He would say the words of Jesus to them. He really was a Jesus figure. And he would entertain the children at the hospitals. He would play his little guitar and sing to them. He was really a funny, happy kid, a joyful kid, even while he was dying. The Make-A-Wish Foundation found out that he only had about two weeks to live. And they came to him and they said, what would you like to do you know, kids want to go to Disneyland, kids want to do this, whatever. What would you like to do? He said, I want to go to Nashville. And I want to go to that jail where those three men are. And I want to tell them I forgive them for shooting my dad and for robbing us. Because in a little while, I'm going to meet my judge. And I want him to be merciful to me. His dad said to me, I didn't teach him that. I hate those guys. I said, God taught him that. Because Jimmy or Eddie was really Jesus. He was a Jesus. Who taught him that? His father. All of us have that same divine life. You might be a little boy and you have that life. Many of us who are grown people don't have that life. His dad said, I didn't have that. I hated them. I, and, I, and his dad eventually has to forgive them. All the kinds of love that is given to us by the Father in Jesus, this commandment is so important for each of us. So many of us, I, I know priests that haven't forgiven I know bishops that haven't forgiven. A hurt that continues to bleed. Forgiveness is divine. Forgiveness is divine. Only Jesus can root out the, the pus of unforgiveness. In this sacrament that we have, the sacrament of reconciliation, to, to heal again the brokenness, how many families are still divided over the inheritance that came to someone and the family has just been scattered and there's no forgiveness? How many people don't attend one another's weddings and funerals for years and years because of unforgiveness? The family of God was meant to be united into one body. Essential to that unity and one of the most broken powers of, of the body, I believe, is the sin of unforgiveness. How important it is for us. It's a tool of Satan. Satan has learned to divide. What did he do immediately after Adam and Eve sinned? Cain killed his brother. Cain killed his brother. The, the body of mankind has been suffering so much from sin and hatred and division and jealousy. How important it is to reunite through the power of Jesus Christ the body, the broken body of Christ. And Christ has given us this magnificent gift, the sacrament of reconciliation. If I am in hatred of anyone or unforgiveness of anyone, I am really broken from the body of Christ. Unless I forgive, I cannot be forgiven. Jesus said, if you come and want to offer your gift at the altar, first go, and if you're not reconciled with your brother, reconcile with your brother first, and then come back and offer your gift. 
if we Catholics who go to Mass, if we Christians who go to our assembly, if we Orthodox who go to liturgy, we are the ones who are giving the example. We must give it. We, if we give the example of what forgiveness really is, we can bring harmony and unity to the whole world.